writing has always been a big, big part of my life. It's always been my way of exploring the world and making new friends. This is how I met the love of my life. It's how, how I ended up living here, which is my home now. It is where I want to be and it makes me happy to be here. But I didn't live here initially. I fell in love with the place before living here. And that feeling there is to this area is hard to put words on. But my impression is that people that move here or people that come here frequently, they sort of get that bit about it. My in-laws, they bought the place 17 years back. They're two teachers and their dream was to create this place that had a warmness and a homeliness to it with equality to everybody. And yeah, they've got six kids and now we've got five of them working there. So it has that family feel to it. People come here for a multitude of reasons, I suppose, but it all relates to having some sort of adventure or experience in the nature. So this area is sort of like the borderline between farming country and fishing country. It's a very rich soil bed, still containing quite a lot of sand. So it drains really well, so we don't get the wet trails during winter. And we don't get snow as well because we're close to the sea. Espen and I, we go pretty way back, 15, 17 years. Initially Espen started building trails just in his spare time. Rumours spread that, that we've got something sort of unique going on here and it's just taking off from there. Almost everybody in the family rides. Um, all the kids are hooked up to it and they enjoy riding. There's weekly training in the local club. Especially my mom-in-law, she's, she's mental. She rides every day, all year round, and usually finishes off with a swim. It doesn't matter how cold or how wet it is. And she's turning 70 this weekend. It's a huge joy and a great privilege to have quite a few mountain bikers now coming to spend their holiday here and you know, see them walking around smiling, having a good time, and we can do that at the same time while catering for someone in a wheelchair and they're also having a good time. And that casualness and friendliness is, is quite hard to put words on but it's, it's pretty unique I'd say.